All right, folks, so we are going to start a new project and I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to open from computer. I'm gonna open two portraits that I shot. So I have that one and I'm just gonna mess with the adjustments, brightness and contrast. I'm gonna bring the contrast up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to file, open in place. This one. And I am also going to play with the contrast. And now I am going to place a pattern. So I just did a search for black and white pattern and found a bunch of different ones. And this is the one I chose. So I'm going to file, open and place. And Okay, so this is my pattern. Um, obviously it's very small, but I'm gonna stretch it. And because I'm not actually using the pattern itself, it's okay with stretching it. In fact, I'm gonna stretch it really large so that it's not so intricate. It's a little bit um, bigger. Now this image that I have is actually huge. So I'm gonna make this double huge, which is probably gonna crash my computer. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna go with this and then just move it around. So I obviously want it to be um, large enough to fit on here, but I wanna have probably pretty much an equal amount of black areas and white areas. And as interesting as possible, I kind of like this, but we may, I may change my mind. So once I have that done, I'm going to image adjustments. I'm gonna play with the contrast on this as well. And I want it to be really black and white. Again, this image is huge, so it is going to take forever if it doesn't crash. So I'm going to slide my contrast all the way up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I'm on the, the pattern layer and I'm gonna bring the, the opacity down just a little bit so I can see where my eyes are gonna fall. Um,
Maybe I'll try that. It's really kind of hard to guess how it's going to look. So we kind of have to do trial and error. So I'm going to bring my contrast, my opacity back up. And what I want to do is go up to making sure I'm on my pattern layer, select color range. This is why you want to have black, black, blacks. And I'm going to go to shadows. So it's going to select all the dark areas. And at the bottom, I'm going to click OK. So now it has selected all the dark areas. So then I'm going to go on my middle layer here. And I'm going to turn off this layer so I don't see it. And all I can see are the selected marching ants. Then I'm just going to backspace on my keyboard and see what happens. Oh, I have to rasterize first. So I'm going to right click, rasterize and then backspace again. And so you can see the two images. So I'm going to deselect. So not sure I like that. No, I don't think I like that. Um, it's interesting, but it's um, a little disconcerting, really. So I'm going to go up to my history, which is right here. And I'm going to go back a couple steps. So I'm going to go back to rasterize. So I just rasterize my image. Um, I'm going to turn this layer back on, and I'm going to deselect it. So I'm going to go back to the opacity. Oops, on the wrong layer. You want to make sure you're on your art image, your pattern. and. Maybe what I need to do is look at how these two images look together. So I'm going to change. I'm on the middle layer. I'm going to change the opacity. Um, no, I think I'm OK with that. Again, it's hard to tell when you're until you do it. So it's a lot of trial and error. So again, um, actually, I'm going to move these around. So I think I'm going to bring the opacity of that down. And I'm looking for some interesting designs. I kind of like that. So maybe down just a little. No, maybe her eye. So this eye is going to be in the white, and this eye is going to be in the black. So let's see how that works. I'm going to bring the opacity back up. I'm going to select color range. Make sure it's on shadows. OK at the bottom. Turn off the eyeball on that layer. Make sure I'm on the middle layer or the top image and backspace with my keyboard. kind of like that. So I'm going to control D to deselect. I love the designs, but I don't like how it looks like she's cross eyed. So I'm gonna step backward again. I want to go back to here. I'm going to control D to deselect it. And I think I'm going to actually move these two photos around because it seems like however I do it, she looks cross-eyed. So I'm not sure how much I can move these because they're the same size. So maybe what I will do is, is um, switch that. So that was edit transform, flip horizontally. All right, I'm going to I'm going to try that. So I'm going to bring that opacity back up. Go back to this layer, select color range, shadows. OK, turn this off. Click on this middle layer and backspace on the keyboard. Hmm. 
You select. I love these dots right here. I love all the circles, but I don't love her face. So I'm going to go back to color range. And deselect. And I think I'm going to move these. I'm going to have to crop it a little bit smaller. So I'm on that layer. I'm going to change the opacity. And separate the faces out a little bit. And I'm going to leave it like this for now. I know I'm going to have to crop it because I'm missing a bit of an image over here. Um, but I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to turn this back on. Oh, I got to put the opacity back up. On this layer, select color range. I already know it's on shadow, so I'm going to say OK. Turn off this layer, click on the middle layer, and backspace. Deselect to take a good look at it. I think I'm going to have to move this design. It makes me sad because I really love all of these circles, but it's not working for me. Back to color range, control D. Click back on this layer. Change the opacity so I can see beneath it. And maybe I'll move it up. Still have some of those. Try that. OK, put the opacity back up. Select color range. OK. Turn off that layer. Click on the middle layer. Backspace. Deselect. So I can see. Nope, I'm not feeling it. All right, I'm going to keep going. Well, all right, I'm going to go with this. So I don't need this layer anymore. So I'm not going to turn it back on. I'm going to right click, flatten image. Um, then I'm going to crop it. So I have just these two images. Because right here is, is extra. Image, crop, file. Save as JPEG just so, I mean, sorry, save as PSD just so I have all my edits and then export as JPEG and save. Alrighty.